I always heard adults say, time moves faster the older you get. And even as a kid, I understood what that meant, but it was kind of in one ear, out the other. I was looking at my page and I saw the last Chasing Oscar I did was two years ago. Today is February 26, 2017, and the Academy Awards are today, the Oscars. Today is February 26, 2017, and it is the two year anniversary of when I quit my job to do Black Sock Productions full time. That's pretty cool. Yup. If one more label try to stop me, it's gonna be some dreadhead niggas in your lobby. When I was watching the last episode, the only episode of Chasing Oscar, it was interesting because I was, I was listening to the things that I was saying and I was watching some of that old footage that I had. Some stuff is exactly the same. Some stuff is drastically different. One of the biggest things that I saw from that first episode was the passion that I had. You know, when I'm describing what movies mean to me, what film means to me, how I transport myself for hours at a time, just living these worlds that are made up by people. The passion is still there, but it definitely has a dose of reality added to it now. When I started my company, I, I kind of equate it to somebody going to Hollywood for the first time. Now, you know, this is coming from somebody who's never stepped foot really in the state of California, but it was there, was, there was passion, there was hope, there was, I saw stars, that adrenaline rush of not knowing where my next paycheck was coming from, yet loving exactly what I was doing. And then about a week in, the artistic side of my brain that had all these ideas and all these things that I wanted to do was pitted against the business side of my brain that was like, hey, just so you know, rent is still due on the first of every single month. So for a while, right off the jump, I was taking any and every job that I could just to keep the lights on, just to feed myself. In the midst of doing so many jobs, so many pay the bill jobs, I call it, I kind of forgot the tagline of Black Sox, life is a movie, film it like one. In my mind, I am still the biggest actor in the biggest movie that's ever been made, which is my life. I'm the writer, I'm the director, I act, I produce, in my life. And it got to a stretch where the movie was getting really boring. I wasn't, I wasn't making anything. I wasn't doing anything creative. I needed something to kind of re-spark that inspiration. And for me, it was Instagram. I thought if I don't have the motivation to make a 15 minute short, a five minute short, I can still make a 15 second, 30 second, and then later, uh, more recently, a 60 second video. thing with Instagram videos for me was that most of the times they weren't even really about anything. A lot of times I would just be online reading about a certain editing technique and I would want to try it out. I knew that with Instagram I could just make something really quick and just practice that technique and a lot of times that's just what they ended up being. When you go through Instagram you can just scroll and you can see snapshots of where you were at creatively. The goal is always to get better. I always tell people the next video is going to be my best video as it should be. And, um, you know, there's some stuff that I loved that uh, I cringe when I see it. Every now and then, like th on, on certain social medias, Facebook, for example, something I did in college, you know how they have the little anniversary things and they'll pop up and people will share it and I start panicking. I'm like, I can't allow anybody to see this. I gotta, I gotta take it down. But, in hindsight, it's, it's important because you know 
you know now how, how, how you're progressing. I have a lot of very talented and creative friends, whether they be authors or uh, people in video and film, photographers, DJs, musicians. Having these influences now versus when I was in college making stuff, I'm, I brought Chronicles of Boredom back this year, which is huge for me. Anybody who knows me knows that's kind of where I got my start. But the stuff that I'm, I'm doing now blows the other stuff out of the water. And I love that. Oh man, this is awesome. The production value. And the thing about it is, I'm still comparing myself to a lot of my friends, which to a lot of people can be a killer. But for me, it's a drive. And I don't mean like in a, in a competition type way. There was a point as creative as I was, as driven as I was to make something, I 100% was comparing myself to a lot of people. Theirs is better. Theirs quality is better. Their, uh, their story is better. But it got to a point where I was able to just sit back and appreciate what they did as art. Once I started making my stuff, once I started showing it to people and I had that genuine happiness that, oh man, this is, this is classic Chronicles of Boredom or this music video is dope because it's the way that I shot it, the way that I wanted to do it. People started to appreciate my stuff like I appreciated theirs. I remember when I, when I took the leap to do Black Sox full time and it was exciting and it was new and it wasn't a nine to five. Two years later, I'm still doing it. And I found myself getting complacent again. The difference between my complacency now versus a couple years ago, I don't truly think it's complacency. I think now I'm just at a spot where I know I'm ready to grow, I'm ready for that next step. I've never felt more creative in my life than I feel right now. I feel like I can create anything. And I hate to admit it, but it took me those full two years to realize every job that I thought was just paying the bill, or every job that I wasn't amped up about doing because it wasn't mine or my project, it was sharpening my skills, it was refining my craft. I was sitting in church not too long ago and it was the story of David and Goliath. We've heard the story a thousand times before, you know, little dude David facing a giant. Now, seemingly, should have had no chance at all. But what people don't realize is David had been preparing and he had the tools that he needed so when it came time to face the giant, he was ready to slay. I will never take for granted a job again because I know every single thing that I do has brought me to the point that I'm at today and I'm only gonna get better. I don't think that I'm here yet. I know I got a lot more to learn, but I have the tools that I need creatively. Give me my giant. Give me my giant.